record. Shalom my amigos, this is Testing Tear, and for the past two days or so, I've been testing out OpenBSD. Just proof that this is not a change in wallpaper. OpenBSD, right there, in front of your eyes. I believe this is the first video on YouTube that's actually screencast straight from inside OpenBSD on actual real hardware, rather than in the virtual box like many do. This is a great system. I especially like package add. And here, let me show you why. It does have a port system. Use your ports. You gotta get that manually though. But you see this? This was not in FreeBSD. This thing. Do you want this version or this version? that is rather awesome and I believe that the pre-built binaries is actually up to date with the port system that OpenBSD has which is cool that's fantastic uh, so yeah there's that it's got just about everything I could think of apart from WebKit QT based browsers this is FBWM2 yeah, this is all working rather well. Could I use it on a daily basis? Yes, will I? No. And why? This thing is really quirky. Let me show you why. First though, you can see. Blender. So I get full 3D. But in WebKit GDK and Qt, well, WebKit GDK and Firefox browsers, show you, I even have the audio on, which I'm recording it in Audacity, because when I tried with the FFmpeg script, the audio was deformed and everything was pretty ugly. I'll still put that script in the description as well, but anyways. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too loud. But you can see, even at 10 FPS, you can see I'm recording at 10 because I had difficulty trying to get it up higher. It was rather unstable. But you can see the pauses, can't you? You can hear as well. And this is in the smallest... Smaller screen. It is pretty bad. It is smoothest in Chromium. I shall show you. You should be able to tell just from the audio. Much smoother. Of course I am recording. It's only smooth if you leave it at small. If you go large or full screen. That's when it shows like... It's not really supported. It's not even... It's not even codex or anything. It's just saying that it's using all your resources when it's trying to play the thing. Which is rather unfortunate. So there's that, and that's rather a big deal. There's a smaller deal with things like Peace of Man FM of rocks to compare. But uh, let's open the first take, the video.ogv. Open. Don't know what to do. Okay, Empire. Crash. And that worked perfectly fine. Hopefully that didn't blast your ears. I'm sorry if it did. Uh, something else interesting I found is that when using audio to record with FFmpeg, you gotta not have anything playing at all. Otherwise it won't work. So you can only record or play when using FFmpeg. Right now I'm using Audacity and that's been working fine. I have no clue how or why. Maybe something to look into. Probably not going to stay on here much longer though, to be perfectly honest. It's using 
using X11R6, and that's so probably the source of much of the problem. It's an older version of XOR. After X386, though, I think they swapped it out to come OpenBSD4, which is great and everything, but it's still not at the point that everywhere else is. And so as a result, stuff I've showed you, uh, Kemu as well. Kemu performs really, really, really poorly. I know that's partly due to KVM in here. Well, lack of KVM in here, seeing as KVM is only in Linux. But in here I can't even set it to use anything above 385, no, 53 megabytes of RAM. And it performs worse than in FreeBSD. So, really quirky. What I recommend it, it would depend upon the person, how they live. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention not all video playback is like that. It's only in web browsers. I can play a video on here. Same video, in fact. This plays perfectly smooth. Of course, again, recording at 10. Cap is 10 at least. It's gone down to 8. And let's see other quirk is the MPEG is rather picky, and I also think that's partly due to X11R6. So when XORG updates, and I will be monitoring it, what, checking back every now and again, waiting for that to happen, but when it happens, it'll be more interesting. Right now, wouldn't recommend it to too many people. Again, depends on how they live. Also the hardware. Do not use NVIDIA. I'm not even going to bother putting this thing on my NVIDIA machine, or machine with NVIDIA on it. ATI, not so much AMD, but ATI, and Intel are recommended for this thing. So, rather quirky system. Has its ups, has its down. It is the most secure, though, in its entire lifespan, and it's been around since either 1997 or 98. But anyway, in that entire lifespan, they've only had two security holes in the base system. If that's not a record, I don't know what is. Really cool system, just not for me at this point. There's a fork of it known as Bitrig I'd wish to look into, mainly because they say they wish to implement KVM. Not sure how far they've got that. Uh, I also wish to look into Dragonfly, BSD, and NetBSD. However, of course, I'm running out of time, out of spare time, and must return to the school. It is, da it is calming down, uh, so hopefully I'll be able to make a nice come back soon. It won't be as long, it won't take as long to update as it has in the past. Not a whole other year. But soon. Anyways. Uh, also, something to note, the direction of my channel, seeing as I'm gaming much less mostly because I'm moving about in alternate distributions I even went as far as Slackware and operating systems it's not because I can't decide what to put on my hard drive now but it's because rather I want to try it out on real hardware I want to learn that's why I'm here I'm, I'm here to learn and if I learn something especially if it's like if I have like a problem and it takes me a long time to figure out but I finally do I'm gonna make a video uploaded to YouTube because chances are I'm probably not the first guy that's had that problem that's why I'm here to learn and share my knowledge and that's what I'm gonna be doing not like the kind of videos on YouTube that you see people started up in VirtualBox go throughout the default applications and then try and do first impression review no I'm actually gonna install it on real hardware like this guy and live in it for a few days, then tell you my thoughts, like I am right now. If you're in it for the gaming, there are plenty of other people, plenty of other channels that have far superior machines that are also gaming and open source operating systems, most of the Linux. But anyways, that's where I'm going. If you're okay with that, <laughs> brilliant. 
but I am rapidly running out of time so sorry it took me so long to update sorry it's going to take another long time not as long hopefully hopefully it is calming down now I shall see you next time whenever that may be sorry again check out OpenBSD if you believe the conditions are right for you I've shown you the quirks I've come across and I've told you ATI or Intel so if you want to try it out feel free I'll be putting the record script and one for recording audio see if you can get past the deformed audio thingy you'll find out what it is if you come across it anyways in the description I'll see you next time rather than taking up 11 minutes of your time so Shalom amigos